Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. The Forever Match. Um, I made a couple of them up, and I'm just revisiting it, and just going over it again. I made three up. Um, yeah, just the, I'm not making any more of them up. They're a brilliant idea. I think they're a really good idea, and easy to make up. That's the original one I made up a little while ago. And it's a good little system just to have it in your tin. You get a little tin like that. I buy them from the $2 shops. But um, discount stores here in Australia. But I've been having a lot of trouble getting them lately. So yeah, if you can get a Altoids tin or whatever. I'll, I'll pr probably have to get them from um, uh, like eBay or something like that. Either that or I could buy mint tins about the same size as that. I've got some lolly tins that here in Australia that sell are, are about that size. So I might have to bite the bullet and um, buy a few of them. I don't eat the lollies usually. Um, I'll, I'll give them to the kids and then um, get the tins. But that's the original one I made up, which is a, a complete system because it's got the striker, a little ferro rod, and and the forever match in there i won't take it out because it's in there but um that's a complete system because it's got everything to do it can light its own light it up and it's all in the one little container but i also made up a couple i don't know really what i'm going to do with them yet if i can get the ranger band back on there For the moment I'm just storing it in my little bag but I made up two more a bigger one and a smaller one just in there um, they worked out really well um, that's the smaller one usual fare just charred on the end now I think charring it on the end is the go that's to get it to light up and I bought all the gear out to just go over it again. So I use my 10 mil jute. I buy these Hanks off eBay. Now they're $14.99 Australian. And it's a supplier here in Australia for these. Um, I think it's 7 metres. So I get two Hanks, two 7 metre lot Hanks for $14.99 delivered to me door to my, to my door um yeah that's a lot of jute and it's 10 mil thick and as you can see it comes in it, when you unfurl it it comes into three three lots of jute and that lasts me a long time for all my th this is my preferred jute I, I put it in everything but this makes up a really good forever match because then I just use this is my beeswax I've got a couple of lots of beeswax and this is my little tin that I use so I just put a bit of beeswax in there roll melt the wax roll the, um, roll the thing in put it in there and it just soaks it up pretty quick um, you just have to gauge it because I, I said I didn't want to put too much wax in it, but as you can see, it's pretty well soaked. So, yeah, soak them up. Um, put as much beeswax as you can get into them. I, I've, I've gone to the point where I'm I'm thinking saturate them now because, um, yeah, once you... And burn the ends of it, even if you have to not worry about um, using your ferro rod at first, I think the idea is... Just scorch them a bit with a, with a lighter to prepare them first of all. That way you don't have to worry about um, striking it with a ferro rod because it does take a bit to get it to go right from the beginning. If you don't, don't do this because now all I have to do is fluff it up a bit, get it, get get a striker or your knife or something, and fluff that up and that'll take a spark really easy from a ferro rod a couple of strikes and it, it'll, it'll be up and a lit no worries whatsoever i won't light it up again you've seen me light these up but yeah i just wanted to revisit 
the um the forever match i think these are a brilliant idea and i would certainly be making up a couple of them to add into your kits and oh, and the last component is just the snuffer i use a 12 mil piece of copper tubing um i buy that from bunnings here in australia um yeah i get a length a length of it and then i use it for pretty much everything for um for for my for my um snuffers now because i even put i use that for my snuffers for um for my um slow matches as well so i've been using it for everything but that's that's the basic procedure for for making those jute forever matches i don't add potassium nitrate because it doesn't help it at all um if anything i think it actually hinders it so yeah so don't worry about that just add soak the soak it in wax um definitely say pre burn the ends of it and yeah and then once you do it yes fluff it up and drive a spark into it and you will find it will light up pretty easy with a um with a ferro rod and don't be scared of having to pump it a bit like do the pump method if you have to because um yeah just it, it doesn't take much to get a little bit of heat in there and once you get a little bit of heat it, it'll light up and these are really good for sustained flame. The only thing is I have found they are not very windproof, so they will blow out pretty easy. That's that's the one thing with them. I um yeah, don't expect them to be like um very windproof. That's that's the one thing I did find with the Forever Match. They aren't very good for that sort of thing. But for the ability to once you get them alight. The ability to be able to light fire like your fire or and like with expeditionary johnny the other day and he was having trouble with his damp material this forever match is a fantastic idea there you can actually have a f sustained flame underneath there that'll dry your material uh, dry your materials out a bit and that'll you'll just sit there for a while and have it burning there and that'll dry your material out and that'll get your tinder going so i think this is a very good idea to have in your um in in your in your fire kit and like with that that one there that doesn't take up a lot of room like that that's a quite a small package for it and as you saw like it's it's got a, a reasonable length of probably it'd have at least 30 centimeters or a foot of forever match and that'll burn for yeah you, you'd probably get i don't know i haven't done a burn time on it you'd have to get 15 20 minutes maybe half an hour burn time out of that so yeah that'd that'd certainly be able to get you a good good lot of fires going out of it but yeah, I just wanted to show you those those matches there, uh, those ones I've made up. I'm, go I'm not going to make any more up. I, I think three is enough there, and I'll, I'll just add add them to my kits. But I do like the idea of putting a little ferro rod and a striker in with that if you're going to make them up into those kits because um, I think they they definitely need the ability to be able to light it up because um, yeah, it's um. Yeah, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't always rely on having a ferro rod with you, and bank on. You might lose that, and if if you've got that that ferro rod in there, you can always light the system up. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to revisit the forever match. Um, yeah, I just wanted to go over it again and how I make them up and um yeah they're really easy to do and i won't go through making one up because um yeah that's a pretty boring video everyone there's so many of them on on youtube on on how to do it to to you you'd be able to work it out for yourself so if if you if you um if you haven't done one before anyway it's pretty easy stuff so yeah just um yeah as i said put it in the wax and just soak it up don't worry about trying to not get too much wax in i think the more wax in it the better it is from what i've seen now anyway so yeah but anyway thanks for watching